Hello everybody! We will learn in this video how to download and install Yamaha Expansion Manager on your computer. Yamaha Expansion Manager is a free software from Yamaha that allows us to create expansions pack that will be installed on the PSR A3000. We'll go through the whole process step by step. We start by downloading Yamaha Expansion Manager from the official Yamaha website that we'll find in this page. We choose the correct version, either Mac or PC. For this tutorial, we need a Mac version, then we click here. We scroll down the page, then we check, yes, I agree. After the download is finished, we'll find a zip folder, unzip it, and we'll find a folder containing the installation file and installation manuals. Start installing and wait till it's done. If we browse to the specific page dedicated to the A3000 and click on Download menu, we'll find besides Yamaha Expansion Manager more contents with different voices and styles that we can download and install into the A3000 in the user memory. Let's take an example. We want to download this pack, Algerian Expansion Pack, that contains new voices and styles. First we download the pack, then we open the folder and we noticed a PPF file that contains all the data, but we can only open it with the Yamaha Expansion Manager software, and that's what we'll do. Let's launch Yamaha Expansion Manager and see what it looks like. The main page is composed of three parts. Part 1 shows all the expansion packs, whether they were downloaded from the Internet or created by a user. This part is still empty. Now we'll add the Algerian pack that we just downloaded. To add this pack to Yamaha Expansion Manager, we click on the plus button, we choose Import Pack, then we go to Algerian Pack file and we select it. After the installation is done, we notice the Algerian pack icon. The second part will show us what each pack contains, meaning if we click on Algerian pack, we'll see all the percussions and rhythms available in the pack. This part will allow us to edit parameters of each one by clicking on it twice. We'll see more detail in another video. The third part will allow us to install A3000. Each A3000 have a specific ID known as serial number. The Yamaha Expansion Manager will need that ID to install the keyboard, as we can see in this third part. At first we'll move the ID from the keyboard to the computer using the USB drive. We start the keyboard, we plug the USB drive on the back, we press Function, Menu 2, then System, and last press button D, Export Instrument Info. After pressing OK, A3000 will save the ID file in the USB drive. Here we are done with the keyboard. We take out the USB drive and plug it into our computer. We start Yamaha Expansion Manager and click on the plus sign in front of Install Target. We look for the USB drive, select it and click OK. A3000 shows up on the third part, which means the operation was done with success. We click on A3000 and in this step we will decide what sound we will precisely add to our keyboard. Let's add a second pack, for example the Tunisian pack. We can choose the whole pack or just a part of it. We first click on pack, then we add or remove whatever we want by adding or removing the green check. We click on the Tunisian pack and choose what we need. When we are done choosing, we are going to create a specific pack for our keyboard under PPI. We click on Save as Pack Install File, we choose a location, for example the USB drive, then click OK. 
unplug the USB and plug it back on the keyboard. We press the function button, menu 2, then pack installation, we choose in the USB drive the PPI file, then click OK. After restarting the keyboard, we will find all the added components under the expansion user buttons. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial video.